Hi, my name is Sasha, and I'm back to talk about second semi-final of this year's Eurovision. On the first semi-final, I got to write 9 out of the 10 songs, so it was really good result in my opinion. And um, I'm expecting to be so wrong on second semi-final. Because listening all 16 songs, not once, I really don't know who are going to finals. I will quickly talk about all 16 songs and then try to choose my prediction for 10 that going to a final tomorrow. So first is Denmark and it's first, no, second song for this year vision that I got to listen. Sorry for my dog. Uh, first in which I watched MV. And it's something I usually not expect to see on Eurovision. First of all, he is probably the youngest contestant this year. He should be. And I think he's perfect representation of like Gen Z, in my opinion. He's good looking, MV is like really colorful. Um, I kind of like lyrics and just sound overall, but I think it's not really a Eurovision thing. And, you know, I think he will be not really disappointed of not going to a final, but I'm I'm not sure. I think I'm not sure. I, I can't actually, like, check it uh, from where I am, but uh, I, I will be not surprised if he's, like, really popular on TikTok or something. He just give me this vibe. Second song is Armenia, and uh, first in the semi-final for, uh, that will use uh, native language, and I always love when countries use their native languages, not only English, and this time we will have like four in this semi-final, four in previous, and all four actually go to a uh, final, so maybe, maybe it's a key to go to a final, and in final already there was four songs, so at maximum we have like 12 uh, songs written in native languages this year so Armenia uh, I really enjoy like sound overall at first I wasn't sure that it's like a Eurovision thing but then I actually started to like it uh, I think on the second listening I was like yeah it's probably going to the final Next is Romania, another song that will use a uh, native language. And I watched like performance from probably like national contest or uh, the choosing um, who will go to Eurovision. And you know, it's first song uh, that used native language, and I kind of not really sure that um, it can go to a final. I don't know, it's, it's a good song. Uh, it's a good artist, but I'm not sure. It's not really Eurovision. I didn't get. Uh, uh, there wasn't no. There, wa there wasn't subtitles. There was no subtitles. So, and staging like performance was kind confusing in my opinion. So I didn't get the uh, meaning. So if there will be another staging maybe it can go but i'm really not sure it's just like i don't really have like strong opinion about the song it's just song next is estonia mm, she has really good voice it's one uh, at first i was like uh probably not eurovision thing but then i started to like it a lot so yeah I would say I love song and I hope it's going to a final, but I'm just like really hope it's going because I'm not sure. Belgium, uh, for me it kind of had retro sound and though I'm not the biggest fan of retro sounding uh, in the music, uh, it was good here. I feel like uh, it's the only song with this sound this time and it kind of like Vogue uh, vibe so I'm again not sure but I will love to see it in the final moving to Cyprus and at first I was like mm, don't know but 
then I start to like it and then I start to love it and I probably need to say that I feel like it's kind of cause of singer he's fine and I hope I'm not only in Europe who like sometimes they like, can resist so yeah it can be because of I just like like how he look and how he sound he really have a good voice so yeah I kind of hope he's going to a final so Iceland another song when at first I was like nice but not uh, for Eurovision then I started like it then I start to love it and um, I watched uh, a live performance and her staging is like really good her voice control her breathing really good so I hope she's going to the final because she's talented and she's a really good singer so yeah I it, it, it's a yes from me moving to Greece uh, for some reason I expected something different from Greece I would say I actually like uh, lyrics and song overall but I feel like it's not your revision thing it's not something I don't know I think there will be a lot of people who can relate to the song but at the same time it's not for everyone so I love it but it's like big question mark for me in terms of Eurovision but it's something that I definitely rewatch a few times just because it's good and I think it's really deep next is Poland and I need to say that before actually starting to like try to make analysis of every song and every semi-final this year I, I, I watched for first uh, semi-final some songs and I was just one day putting like a just like music playlist on my TV on YouTube uh, while doing some like home stuff and this song and after songs like pop up and I was thinking that it's just like some artist some envy I didn't get this like Eurovision vibe until I actually check what is it because sometimes you can even when you see like songs that you didn't hear before on like playlist like that that like actually like youtube recommend for you you kind of can predict why it's there and with these two songs i wasn't sure i was like why it's on my playlist and it's because it's eurovision so this poland song uh watching mv at this moment didn't know that this is a poland uh eurovision song i was like it's good song it's a uh, good mv uh blanca she's beautiful but she gave me such a strong like hispanic vibe together with this mv it was it it's not it's not what i expected from poland if i will be honest i think poland have really strong culture and like language uh, they can use it and it will be like easy recognizable in Europe in my opinion like Poland is a big country so there's so much things that they can use in Eurovision song to be different to be authentic so this this is not what I expected with no hate to a singer and then watching it like before starting this filming i watched like live performance and i actually got to read some comments and i see like poland people actually hate it and because uh, they didn't choose it so uh, there wasn't like voting or something by the way uh, my country used to be on eurovision not going for next years probably but we never had like uh, actually competition when people and country can choose like never here the like, government or not government like company like tv company that like the biggest in this country just say like this year like him going or she going so we never had this opportunity to choose so <laughs> yeah but i feel like i feel you poland 
I I would love to like actually vote for someone uh decide who will go from my country so with no hate to singer I I feel Pol uh, uh, people from Poland and this song is just not about Poland it's nice song but it's not about Poland there's nothing about Poland and like MV even in MV it's it's just like not for your vision next is Slovenia and uh, the only song in this semi-final who like got a really fast yes from me and yeah it's probably my favorite in this semi-final uh, I just love uh, I didn't get the lyrics it's fully on uh, Slovenian and I love it so I didn't get like anything at all I think yes like my whole experience with Slovenian language is that last year I watched some Slovenian movie with English subtitles so with help of subtitles I actually understood some words better because like my native language is uh, from Slava group as well so yeah but I like I like that this is a band uh, a little remind me of Maniskin just because it's not like band on the background and there's like um, a singer in the front always. I feel like all member of the band have like enough attention kinda and all of them really charismatic. So I, I'm in love with the vibe and with charisma and the fact that it's full on Slovenian and I'm just here for just the sound of it. Moving to Georgia, and uh, I would say that I didn't really get the meaning. It's fully on English, which is kind of sad. I would love to hear Georgian language, but it's fully on English, and I kind of didn't get lyrics. Uh, it's maybe it's intentional, so everyone will like feel and hear something more relatable to them different from other people so or just people will think more because i spent some time thinking about these lyrics because it's it didn't have clear message for me but maybe it's maybe it's the point like i definitely love a uh, switzerland song and it have very clear meaning you don't need to really think of it it's like clear and loud and this is kind of vice versa situation because I spend a lot of time thinking about lyrics but if uh, we forget about uh, words I am really enjoy beat and ad-libs and although I'm not the biggest fan of ad-libs in songs um, it's good but uh, when you actually think about it it's just like strange noises overall I like it and I hope it's going to a final Next is San Marina and before watching the MV I remember this guy uh, that was I think two times on uh, Eurovision representing San Marina it's like one solo man and um, last time I think when he was on Eurovision uh, like no hate for him he I, I think he's nice but a song was just like kind of strange and I was like no way it's going to a final and he got to a final so yeah for some reason I remembered it before watching these boys and you know what it's again kind of have uh, this like we are here to just have fun vibe like it's it's a uh, easy going song it's uh, interesting in me i would say i didn't really get the lyrics and that's probably a good thing because i i read some comments and people were talking about these lyrics and i feel like it's good that i didn't really get lyrics so i would say i enjoy it i can predict uh what people in europe will think of it but I don't know, I would love to see more bands in the final. So next is Austria and I already said uh, when I'm talking about Poland that I saw MV just on like 
random list on YouTube and I didn't know that this is for uh, Eurovision. I saw that Austria and Australia is kinda on predictable top for the semi-final. Not sure but this is information that I saw and I'm not really sure why it's uh, in case of Austria. It's a good song. It's good MV, but I have a feeling that it's good song and good MV just for artists to have in the album. I don't think it's actually Eurovision thing. The only um, like little thing that I think can help them to be more popular, and maybe that's why they can sound very popular in this semi-final, is that uh, and we have like this kind of easy and addictive dance so it can be tiktok thing like last year with like this wolves and bananas and like it, and before there was something like that with other groups kind of like tiktok trends so maybe that's the reason but it's really good song it's really good mv like they put a lot of money at least it looks like that but is it for your revision though? I think not really. Let's move to Albania, another song fully on native language, Albanian. I watched MV and before watching I saw that some people kind of hated this song and I'm not really see why. So I watched MV and Maybe because of MV it give me musical vibe and I like musicals and I like song in style of the musical and I think her voice is really um, strong and if I'm not mistaken if I understood it correctly she will perform like with actual family and this is such a nice thing and again if I get the lyrics right it's song about family and I'm here for it, it's beautiful in my opinion and um, it's have like kind of ethnical sound and I love it so I don't get why people kind of hated it at least what I uh, saw, so I can be wrong but I saw people actually saying that this song is kind of like old style or something I love it, I hope she's going to a final because her vocal is uh, strong and it's just like beautiful. It has like authentic sound and I'm here for it. Next is Lithuania. And um, again, I think uh, Lithuania can have uh, something more uh, with like folklore sound because they have it as well, uh, they can be like really different from others but this song is like kind of really nice normal English song they have like two words in this song um, that kind of folklore as I understood but it's just like some small things so I'm not expecting like this to be there has to be something um, like folklore vibe in a performance it's nice song her voice is nice i can't really predict i think it can be yes it can be no i i really don't know it's nice song but is it for your vision i i can't really predict how um how much attention she will get in this semi-final and last but not least is australia yeah, I still amazed that we have Australia on Eurovision. So I saw that Austria and Australia is kind of on top for this uh, final. And I said before that I'm not really get why it's a um, case for Austria. But I think Australia is can be on top, actually. So uh, I think I enjoyed the song from from very beginning. Uh, and I was just enjoyed it uh, with how thinking that I there's much to say it's just like really nice but then there was like a little like metal moment kind of unexpected but I love it and like bonus for um, guitar solo at the end almost at the end 
so yeah i think it's a yes uh, for a final so now i need to actually name 10 country and i feel like uh after like really good prediction 9 out of 10 in the first semi-final i will be so bad on the second one but like what the minimum i can get like four countries right yes in ballot mode but i feel like even if i choose like random 10 out of 16 like four at least will be right yes yeah so uh i uh, first three i will say that on my opinion definitely going into a final is australia slovenia i love it my favorite from this semi-final and armenia 10 i would add three songs that i hope going but i'm really not sure but i love them it's albania estonia and cyprus 10 uh belgium because i hope they are going but i'm not sure but they different uh here and three more because i just need to choose out of um nine that i have it's georgia greece and san marina but i'm i feel like it's the most random 10 that i actually <laughs> can name because i feel like i'm pretty confident only in three of them that was my top 10 i really don't know i feel like in second semi-final maybe i don't know i was so much more confident doing this for a first semi-final <laughs> now i feel like kind of all of the song like all 16 have the same level for me have the same chances tomorrow at evening i'm going to see how much i get wrong actually so thank you for watching and let's enjoy your vision